Right, this is Peter the Clairvoyant, and I'm looking at this month now for uh, August 2017, uh, and this is the astrology sign um, Sagittarius, and you're coming under the Temperance card. So again, Temperance can be a, a star sign of um, balance and fairness, and, and I feel so that seems quite nice. But I'm also being drawn by this as if to say with health for some reason. Um, I feel like we're not quite in balance with ourselves at the moment, so we're either not eating properly or drinking properly or sleeping properly. Something's not quite in balance, and we just sort of sit in there and think, oh, it's just this, and it's that, it's okay. And I, and I don't feel it is. I feel like there's something deep and underlining. And I feel like some of us could be working really late nights, um, and I just feel so, so it's like our body clock seems to be out. And I feel so it's causing us some problems so we can't rest. Or we're even, even if we're not waking, like say, like at midnight till eight o'clock the next day, it could be just we're doing a late shift, so we're still not quite in balance. So it's like we're not exactly sleeping, we're not exactly. I don't know. There's, there's something here between work and clock work and clocking in, clocking off, and I just feel as though my hours are wrong. Um, it might be great, it might be, it suits you, you like it, you might think um, I'm getting more money for it. You know, working on open hours is a bit more pay, but I don't think your body likes it. So I feel as though if we're having any kind of problems here, I just think we need to think as if to say, Do you know what, it could be because I'm working these unsociable hours and my body doesn't know where it is sleeping. So it's like I could be working this one night, I could be working that another night, and it's like your body clock's all over the place. So I just feel so, mm, it's difficult when we're working, you know, these, these kind of funny, sort of uh, environments now where I feel so we're working 24 hours a day you know the world never seems to stop it's not good for health though there's been a proven study out there that people who work really late nights that your body ages you know something like 10 20 years more quicker than you know when you've worked on non social hours for something like eight years so have a think about that I'm sure it'll make sense um, issues with family, not getting on with family, and and I just feel so. It's like I feel so. Like what change? We feel so. Sometimes you're being judged. Now, if you are feeling being judged, are they just trying to be there for you and they're saying things to you that you don't like? You might not be liking what they say, but you know sometimes it's like true words never spoken in jest, as they always say, or it's sometimes they are really winding you up and you've just got to find some kind of balance here to get things sorted. So it just feels like you've got to start trusting your intuition a little bit here now of what's the best way to sort of deal with family. And I can see arguments and disagreements, or you could be having arguments with your friends and you're taking it home and it's like it's it's rubbing off on the family. So th there's something going on here where you're not quite feeling settled, you're out of balance, your body cups all the place, you're winding up with people before they're winding you up, and then you're sort of passing it on to family. It feels like a bit of a vicious circle, this does. But I don't feel like this is for the month of August. I feel like this has been going on for a while. So see where that kind of comes in and see where you can sort of relate to that in your life. And I think somewhere along the line that's going to make sense. Now for some of you, you may be thinking about moving home, sort of thinking about a house move. Uh, you might not exactly put it into place yet, but I feel so you could think about it. And I feel so that's there for you. And I just feel so it seems quite good. But putting all those little battles and disagreements aside, it doesn't seem to be a bad month for you. And I feel so as you start to focus on making some of these changes to look after yourself better in your mental health and your capacity, in that sense, I feel so your life will start to get a bit easier and you should start to feel more settled. And I feel so that's good. But I also feel so as well, certain people around at the moment, you're not trusting very well, whether it is family or whether it's friendships. But also, before you go bite everybody's head off, do make sure, is it you? Or, or, or should I say, make sure that it isn't you. You know, that you're not in the wrong. Because sometimes we, we think we know we're doing the right thing, we think this is right with that, and we're blaming everybody else, but is it? So it just feels so, you know, like again, going back to your body clock being out of place, you could be winding people up because you're feeling inevitable, and you think it's them, they're in the wrong, then is it you? Ooh, it's difficult, very difficult. So, but well, other than that, I just feel so get that out of the way, and I just feel so it's okay. So it's it's not a bad month for you. 
it's just this if and an oring and I just feel so now you just got to sort all these different things out and not shy away from it don't ignore it you might not like going to the doctors talk about these things you think it's stupid talking about the sleep in the body clock but you know it isn't proven scientific fact so I just feel so go and get it sorted out and then I feel so you're not going to be judging people and you're not going to be judging them because look there's judgment so it's like it just feels like that and if unfortunately as well I'm being drawn to this as well to say if, if fortunately if anybody if you've lost anybody anybody's passed over recently whether it's this month or over the last 12 months they are around you they don't just go they are there so don't sort of feel down in the dumps because they're not there anymore because I just feel so sit in the quietness think about them they are all around you so do draw that and something's telling me for you Sagittarians as well especially on the female energy go out there and put some new flowers in the garden or start planting flowers ready for the autumn because uh, I just feel so get that colour coming in to lift your home up a little bit or go and get some new plants to come into the home a little bit it seems to beautiful smells coming in lovely colours of the flowers it, it, it seems to lift you up a little a bit if you can you know sort of spare the money to bit of spare bit of money to spend some money on flowers okay and for the male um, counterpart I just feel so this is a great time to sort of try and reconnect with children a little bit uh, and I feel so if you could do that or if you were the child you try and reconnect with family or your mother or your father figure whichever I feel so you're not quite getting on and I just feel so sometimes I feel so you've got things to say but you're not saying it and I feel so just get it off your chest because I, I get the feeling might sort of not like what you say at first but I feel as though as they go away they'll think about it and they'll think yeah you know what he's right she's right and I feel like they'll, they'll sort of come back and try and make amends or, or do something to change that kind of balance so again connecting with family whether you connect with family they connect with family you've got to say something they've got to say something I just feel as though it needs to be getting off your chest a little bit so see where that comes in for you so we hope all that's made sense for you so this is Peter the Clairvoyant, uh, enjoy your rest of your summer holidays and, and I feel so if you do need me for a reading you know where I am uh, on Facebook or give me a call on 0758 Thank you.